Well, hello, welcome to Making the Hot Tag. Howdy, howdy. I'm Deirdre. I'm Brendan. And um, so a couple things, I'm wearing the same shirt. That never happens. It's a Making the Hot Tag first. It is, but I gotta be honest, it's autumn. And this is my favorite autumnal shirt. And it's my favorite because it belonged to my daughter. And um, she's in Nashville. And so when I'm feeling like I miss her, I need to wear it. And I wear it all through the fall. So I couldn't bring myself to wear something different. Hi, Maeve. Hi, Maeve. <laughs> um, I am, however, another hot tag first. I think we're drinking different beverages. We don't usually do that. Usually, I, maybe once before, maybe? but this is de it's definitely not something we do frequently. No, it's not. So we were both in different moods. I was in a red wine mood, um, and Brendan was in a gin mood. Typically, we gin it up together, but um, I don't know. I was feeling the red wine. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm a, if I drink wine, it's usually red. I just yeah, want to keep just, it. Yeah, we're in this, you know, we're in this place today, and this is where we are. Yeah, absolutely. And this is happening, so, you know, that's cute. Feeling, it, it's, it actually feels better and better each time I... I just like it. <laughs> okay, so cheers. Cheers. All right, and cheers to you guys. Mm. Oh, my God, this wine is so good. Um, okay, so what are we watching? So, if you couldn't tell by this massive graphic that's in your face. <laughs> I see somebody named Ray. So, and you, you... Kenny Omega, I've seen, yes? No. No, I've seen Ray. You've seen Ray Phoenix, Phoenix. before. Phoenix, okay. Uh, he was in the match that had the drag. <laughs> <laughs> that was horrible. Are they going to be all ma He's wearing a mask, so he's that whole yep. Mexican thing, Luchador. Right? So, yeah. yeah, it's Ray Phoenix versus Kenny Omega. Mm -hmm. Kenny Omega is uh, good friends with the Young Bucks. Okay, so I like him already. Uh, he's also considered by a lot of people mm -hmm. one of the like, top three wrestlers in the world. Interesting. And I, lot, I'll could, be the judge of that. I was going to say, it, it's subjectively, so... Speaking you know. of um, wrestlers I love, can we just um, give a shout out to Danger Kid for tweeting at us? Yeah. And, um, <laughs> you know, just uh, calling our show a 10, and I love that. Uh, it's fantastic, and we love him. And Although, I, although neither, neither you or myself corrected him when he said we were drinking coffee. We were drinking coffee in one of them. Oh, well, not, we, not the picture that... Oh. I did a screenshot. Oh. And you were sipping the gin and tonic. Oh, because we did drink coffee in that recording session. And we did. With, I mean, it had stuff in it, but right, anyway, I love him and he can say whatever he wants because <laughs> I love him. So um, anyway, thanks for that. Okay, back to Kenny and Ray. Yep, so. Uh, Who's the bad guy? <sighs> it's hard to say. So, I hope it's Ray because he's got a stupid thing on his head. A mask? A mask is not stupid. It's a stupid thing on his head. So this is, how do I explain this? So the promotion where this is happening, um, if if you're an independent wrestling promotion and you come across a lot of money, what you do is you just bring in the big name wrestlers to sell more tickets. Okay. These guys traditionally don't wrestle for this promotion at all. It's NEW Northeast Wrestling. Um, okay, so this is, they splurged on this. Right. To make the rest of their card. To bring the fans yes. in to mm -hmm. sell their product, basically. Yep, 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 yep. So when they do that, there's usually no one's a good guy, no one's a bad guy. The oh, people, okay. Fans buy tickets just to see these two wrestle. Okay. As the match goes on, they may work towards one of them being a good guy, one of them being a bad guy. But it guy. isn't but like their standard persona. Correct. In, okay. Correct. And they're not being, like, sold as that. like this. Okay. Correct. It's it's just a, it's just a dream be exceptional match. Right. wrestling and exactly. we're watching okay yep all right so that means we're supposedly watching exceptional wrestling so I will be to very, me to me it will be I'm very interested in whether I agree with that so I mean last week with Mesha and Daniel mm, Garcia I loved that I did I, I I thought you would at least enjoy the ending but you enjoyed the whole match no I with, really did I loved the whole match which so. which was. A surprise. surprise. So you never know where I'm going to go, right? right? Okay, ready? Yep. Three, two, one. Play! Play. Okay, lean back. There you go. I like to take care of it. <laughs> Make sure I'm on pillows. All right, so this guy is way better than shirtless pink jacket dude. By the way, he looks like my middle school principal. Did so he always wear a bow tie? He just looked like he looks like a dorky middle school principal. <laughs> All right, so I'm already, like, the venue is too fancy, but okay. Yep. 
I'm I'm willing to a little bit of sacrifices. Yeah, little, these are the sacrifices we make. Okay, this is a long entrance. So the last time we saw Phoenix was before he got super super popular. Mm -hmm. Um, do you remember the match? I think I mentioned this. The the match where there was the other masked wrestler and he faced the three women wrestlers mm -hmm. back to back to back. Mm -hmm. They are him. Those two are legitimate brothers. Oh, okay. And they wrestle as a tag team. Okay. A lot of support for the Mexican Ray Phoenix. And you know, Phoenix. Is he actually Mexican? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right, so all getting aside, that makes me. Ooh, that's fun. Yeah, he, he's incredible when it comes to that stuff. Okay, I like that. That's fun. All right. But I, and I also, genuinely Mexican, the sort of culture of Mexican wrestling, I have a little bit more tolerance for that yep. than people who are adopting the masked thing that are not. I gotcha. If that makes sense. No, totally makes sense. Yeah. And it's funny because, I don't want to say it's funny, but like American wrestlers who wear masks will usually wear them because they just don't want to be identified as a wrestler. Mm. So, like, if I if I was working a nine to five job and I did a right, side gig as a wrestler, right? And you just didn't want people to right. know. That's an interesting thought, but that makes me like it less. Like, yeah, just own what you do. Right. Exactly. Right. Okay. So, what do you think I'm going to say already? Too long of an entrance. Yeah. So the lead up to me. And I get it. Like, that's how you said, like, I understand from, right. the, from a promotional point of view, from a marketing point of view, I get it. Right. But as I'm sitting here watching, I'm like, okay, come on. <laughs> I just want somebody to go in and punch somebody. Well, I mean, I could have just easily started, though. No, thing. but but I like it when the entrances are fairly, like, take your entrance, yep. take your moment, get in the ring, and start fighting. Oh, my God, he looks like... Something from like the 1970s, like late 70s music scene, <laughs> right? Like so, his his original thing was he's like a big video gamer. Mm. So a lot of attire he'll come out to like on big matches are mm -hmm. like essentially cosplaying as a video game character. Where's the mullet come from? Because that is a true mullet. That, it's a wrestling thing. No, but a lot of the wrestlers wear their hair like behind their ears, sort of mullet style. But it isn't necessarily cut like a mullet. That's actually cut like a mullet. I guess it's just a decision. It's a bad one. A bad one. <laughs> Mullets are never a good idea. Okay, that's just nonsense. Yeah, he, he, he does a lot of styling and posing. Yeah. I, gun shooting for no reason. Yeah, I find that... Now I want his ass kicked. So I don't like masks, so I thought I was going to be rooting against the mask. But now I'm hoping the mask pummels this pansy from the 70s. I mean, if it makes you feel better, Kenny Omega is a bad guy, like a huge bad guy now, mm -hmm. nowadays. Mm -hmm. I, I dislike him immensely already. <laughs> All right, so now I'll be interested. Do they grapple forever? Do they prance around each other, point at each other, or do they actually just, like, jump in and punch each other? Because i got to be honest, already I don't really like either one of them. But I slight edge to the masked dude. The masky maskerson. <laughs> Whose name I already have forgotten. Ray Phoenix. Ray Phoenix. Yeah. I, feel, I feel like you may not like how it starts, but by the end, you'll you'll be on board. Let's All right, because I definitely crossed. don't like how it starts. Oh my god, just friggin' punch each other. And away we go. Right, grapple, 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 grapple. Look at him sticking his bum out. I feel like. And there are two different cameras. I feel oh. like he's gonna break out into Hot Child in the City. <laughs> <laughs> For those of you who don't understand that reference, YouTube it. It's like a 1970s song. Hot child in the city. Like, I feel like he's going to sing that. Did he just get, like, a nipple tweak? Yeah, he, he rubs his nipple. <laughs> Hands. Your favorite? 
Why does anyone do that? I want to know what's written on there. They both have rib tattoos that say things. I want to know what they say. Well, no, I think Phoenix just has them on both sides. I think the other guy says hot child in the city. <laughs> See, Kenny has wings on his butt. Mm. There's always something on the butt. Although the other guy doesn't have anything on his butt. Random waving around. I'm not a fan so far. This is very... Okay. So this is very performative. Yes. it's It, it will end up like a Young Bucks match. Okay. But grabbing the pants. Just, oh, that was kind of fun. But orchestrated. Yep. Just once. <laughs> and it's the amazing Tumbling Brothers and the Ringling, you know, Brothers Circus. <laughs> oh. Phoenix goes for it again. What the heck? What the heck indeed? This is absurdly performative. Like I said, it's a Young Bucks. Basically, yeah, it'll yeah. be a Young Bucks match. But I feel like the Young Bucks, it's performative. They they show off, but they also make contact more. I don't mind somewhat performative, but I want to see... That was fun. That was really fun. Oh, wow. And the obligatory out in the that audience. Hey, the last week's one didn't have any of that. No, it didn't. It didn't. I, I didn't think about that till right now. I think Although, I don't think anything's going to beat the one we saw a couple weeks oh ago. God, where they we were just, running around the stands and we couldn't, just couldn't see anything. See anything. <laughs> so dumb. I don't mind some of this. I think it's kind of fun. But I don't like it when they spend so much time and they don't get back in the ring. I don't like that. Yeah, that's right. Drag him along. Here, you mentioned that extra motivation, perhaps, of, of Vince. Okay, with his arms doing. Okay, that's better. I want to see him fight that. If like, nobody would just Omega, let that happen. But Omega getting down and dirty as well. Ooh. If we go to another one in person, can yep. we be in the front? I want somebody to, oh, land, yeah. I want somebody oh, to land in my lap. Well, we could definitely get in the front. I don't. I can't. I want somebody in my lap. Is that asking too much? No. Okay. No. I would pinch their bum. <laughs> no, I've had wrestlers laid on my feet. None in my lap, though. Have you ever pinched anybody's bum? No, I have not. I kind of want to. Does that make me a bad person? Nope. Nope. Ooh. Okay. I like that. I like this. I don't like the... Oh, that's fun. I don't like the wind-up, though, where somebody just stands there waiting to be hit. You know? Oh, give him a blowjob. Oh, oh. That's not oh the type of blowjob I No. Nope. It looks like for a moment his face was right in his crotch, but... What is the kind of blowjob? Sorry, Brendan's mom. Forget I asked that. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you're going to say that's not the kind of, that insinuates there's a kind. Just, True, I know what you're saying. All right, just, okay. I mean, not being thrown on a metal I'm gonna, walk. Right, right. Some people might like that. No not judgment. Me. No not judgment. Me. Okay. Not me. <laughs> no judgment, it's just not me. I like his winged ass. It looks like a target. Like, I feel like I want to just, I don't know, do mean things. He's been absolutely manhandled. I like that announcer. Um, With the simple metaphors. Right, yes. Ooh, that was cool. I do not want you in the ring. I don't like him, but that was cool. Yeah, but this I hate. This whole... Greek god performative nonsense. Yeah, he really milks the crowd. Oh my lot. god. I mean, the crowd gives it to him and he milks it. Yeah, he's ridiculous. Uh -oh. the cleaner you know the he was a complete loser in high school. And, and nobody liked him. Again. And they thought he was like awful and a joke. <laughs> and then he comes into this world, right? He had cheesy pickup lines. He asked tons of girls out. Everybody made fun of him. And his hair. 
What a unique atmosphere. And now here he is. No, the, the hair is definitely ridiculous. Huh? So goofy. Child and everybody's on their feet. Everybody's moving. I'm afraid I'm trying to think of that, that singer's name. Yeah. Nick Glider? Nick? It's not, it's not going to. But I, he looks like him. And it's like a very late 70s look. Taking down mm. Phoenix, this is it. See, we don't need that head not shaking. So That's fast. just nonsense. <laughs> Please tell me Phoenix is going to kick his ass. I'm not going to spoil this one. I feel like he's going to because we have the beginning. We have the pattern where he's like handedly winning. And just when we think it can't go any other way, Phoenix will rise from the ashes and somehow win. Ooh. Ooh. Ouch. Oh, out cold. Nope. Not so fast. It fascinates me that nobody grabs the strings on any of those masks. They do I, at times. I would grab the strings. Swinging them back and forth? That's no. That's silly. That's just silly. Omega's so smart. Are you kidding me? I think Omega's blowing the announcer, is what I think. <laughs> this has been a very X rated show. My apologies. There's been too much um, alcohol in me today. Still, two mimosas and then the pumpkin beer. And then one. It's okay. I can handle it. I totally want to just tweak his moves. He could do it all. Oh. Would that be your submission move? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> the nipple twist. <laughs> that there. Oh, I heard that slap. That was fun. See, this is where we start the the comeback. Actually, it's too early. I'm looking at the line. Yeah, I wish I could make that disappear. It's too early for that. So we're we're gonna have another big surge from Omega where he just trounces. Phoenix, and then Phoenix will rise. Their boots look a little bit... Oh, wow. that was fun. Yay! Their boots look like um, boots from for Kiss, the music group. <laughs> so he's... He's singing? He sings like the 70s and right. dresses like, like Kiss. The, yes, like okay. the 80s. Is that the 80s? Is Kiss the 80s? I think late 70s. No, 80s. Definitely 80s. I'm thinking I was in high school. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe they started in the 70s, but they definitely were in the 80s. Thing. 80s hair bands. Makeup and hair bands. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. We don't. Oh, that. See, I like when I can hear real sound that you know, like, no matter what. So something's happening. Like, something actually happened, even if they're mitigating it, you know? We don't know what Mexican boy looks like because he's. There's a lot of pants going. A lot of wedgies going yeah, on. A lot of wedgies going on. Okay, I saw the setup for that. I saw him jump into his own flip. Boo! <laughs> it's the first one I saw, though, in fairness. True. You, tell me you saw it. I did. He jumped into his, <coughs> his own flip. Hmm. After just being dropped on his head the way he was, he is seeing double those amount of stars. I really want to know what his tattoo says. I mean, he hasn't gotten any offense besides a few What drops either of them says, actually. Ten minutes. This has been all I like the slap. So there we go. Be turnaround, and it might be coming right now. But to see, even the referee needs to find his see fight. There's going to be a turnaround. <laughs> what if we had three ponytails? Oh, like, goes. one here. Impressive. One here and one here. Because I feel like there's enough. There is. It's possible, yeah. There's enough on this side for you to... It, I think there is enough. What is your beard end game? I don't know. I mean, this is I, the longest I, I've seen him grow his beard, so I'm curious. I, don't, I, I honestly, I like, I don't, I don't... I'm sort of tempted to see, like, 
But I don't want to put that full grizzly at him. Right, but I don't want to put that effort in. I think it would be fun for you to go. Oh, this is good. That's nice. Oh, good. And he's you asleep. Yeah. <laughs> you lay there like the dumbass you are. He looks like a caveman there. He just killed Kenny. <laughs> Random South Park reference. Um, I think you should go to one of those barbers who specializes in beards and just get like a full on perfect beard shape just once. Yeah, no, I so agree. So you can see what that looks like. That'd be fun. I do agree with that. Mm. I think the ladies would like that. <laughs> Are you speaking for all of them? All the ladies. Mm-hmm. Ladies, he's a catch with a capital C. Just saying. All that in a bag of chips. And if we get his beard like perfectly shaped, then he's got that going for him. I mean, how could you resist? My husband should probably watch out if you do that, because. <laughs> uh, oh! Holy! Holy! My goodness! My. my yeah! <laughs> that's and that's late in the match for that kind of flipping. <laughs> that sounded like it hurt. Good night, Omega. Nope, because there's half of it left, so not good night. I mean, does he have a tooth in his mouth? I think, I think that was gum. I saw it too. It looked like he was spitting out a tooth. Oh my god, I would love that. If a tooth came out? Yeah, just spit it out and just keep going. <laughs> The um, announcer is definitely having sex with one of them. He's like all <laughs> excited about this. Which, not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, that so, that's a crotch shot right there. That's a s couple of crotch shots. That's They're about to scissor. <laughs> By the way, scissoring actually isn't a thing. Nobody scissors. I don't know why people say that. It's absurd. No, nobody scissors. It doesn't actually happen in real life. Okay. Random facts. We're just going all over the yeah, place we, today. We really are. My apologies. <laughs> Making the hot tag. Come here yes. for the wrestling. Stay here. For the <laughs> <laughs> Stay here for the myth busting. Right. I am busting Smith. I am dropping some truth bombs. <laughs> is what I'm doing. Oh, yeah, yeah, all right. Get the crowd on your side. Go finish your job. Look, you get your back turned to him. That's not smart. You just set up a table, with, then turn your back on him. That's... Yeah, you got to be careful. Bound to go your way. <laughs> Speaking, we haven't seen, like, tables and ladders very often in chairs lately. Like, no, I mean, I've been focusing too much uh, uh, on trying to find your, your sweet spot for wrestling wrestling. I'm actually okay with, like, I'm not complaining about that. Right. I just think it's funny, like, it's, you know. Okay. <laughs> All right. What was that? Okay. I, that was, it, so it, it was, was a cool-looking move, it but, was the a, camera, but the camera... Yes. The camera kind of ruined it. Well, not only that, oh the, a, the actual oh effect of it, like... It clearly took a lot of effort to, like, take all the wrestling faker reel out of it. That move takes a lot of effort. There was almost no contact for the True. effort. You know yep. what I mean? Like, it's a lot of energy expended for very little result. Just a, a kick to the face. Right, right. And, it, like, a, it, it, it scraped it. It didn't right. really... But it was still cool looking. Oh, my God, so cool. He's clearly... Uh, an exceptional athlete. Again, the neck, the back of the head. So much abuse in this so high much impact abuse. match. <laughs> Kenny Omega holding nothing back here tonight. Lots of pants. Got his pants. This is oh, just oh, sticking that, with that move. That hurt. Yeah. I Omega, do not like his no antics at all. Did he say no on one on fucks this up? Uh, oh, that's, no, that's what it looked like. I thought he said no one fucks with me. Oh, that I, could have been it. It could have been either. I feel like somebody's going to fuck with him. Yeah? I'm just saying, you know. He's going to oh, go for it again? Yeah. 
Yeah, so this is the part where it seems like, how could he possibly... And then he just springs to life and... As you say, the phoenix rises. Yes, <laughs> yep. Oh, my oh. God! Oh. <laughs> Into the German suplex. That was okay, so you're ball. right. The beginning is very different than the middle and the end of this match. Right. There is way more athletics and interesting stuff. But yeah, I mean, this, this, that's what people are buying. They, they kind of knew that the last third. Is your drink full? I've been sipping it. I don't think you have. Oh my god! Look at show the audience. That's almost nothing. This is like sips. Sorry, I'm not. He's not keeping up. As, as opposed to last week. Mm. Sometimes it's him, sometimes it's me. Oh, oh, oh. We. Oh. There's a lot of dropping on the head. So both last week's match and this match, like, I can't imagine people aren't having neck and head injuries. Well, I mean, that's the, you know, the, the, insi the inside of it is, you, it's, I don't want to say it's easy, but it's well known how to protect. I, right, but it's like, there seems to be a focus on that in these yeah. last two. By the way, you cannot tell me that he's not looking like Sammy Hagar right now. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for Sammy at the Well, because he was too well tucked behind his ears. It looked very 1970s. But now that it's like flinging out and it, he's looking more Sammy Hagar. Which, by the way, I think my husband is the only person I know that likes Van Hagar better than Van Halen. Really? Yeah, something wrong with him. Wow. Yeah, he's also a fan of the, like boy bands to a point that <laughs> is not okay for a man of his age, but whatever. Yay, both flip out. Boom. Oh. Again, now they look like a circus act. So you get it's a it's a tricky thing, right? Looking like you uh, have a lot going on, and there's still energy, and there's big moves with looking like you're working together as a circus act. You know, like I mean that whole sequence, as you were saying, yeah. that was you were kind of like narrating it. Yeah, like when the flipping is too like I don't know when it's too coordinated like that. It looks like a, it looks like a circus act, right. like the tumbling whatever. It doesn't look against each other so much as it looks together. What are they chanting? Fight forever. But so I guess in, in what you were saying just then, there are wrestlers when they do that, it just it all comes out very sloppy and bad mm -hmm. and weird. But mm -hmm. these two like as much as it looked as you were saying, like just two people going through the motions, it was well, it looks, done, be it looks beautifully right, choreographed. Seamless. It was, but it looks like they they're working together as right. part of a circus act right. rather than fighting against each other. And then it changes, and then it really looks like they're fighting against each other, but some of those really fantastic moves actually does the opposite of looking like they're fighting. You right. know? It certainly shows their athleticism and how talented they are, but... You know, it doesn't look like... Like last week's match, I never doubted for a minute they were fighting each other. Right. Right? Yep. No, absolutely. Oh, I like it when I can hear the impact. And see the <laughs> sweat yeah. spray. Like, because then I know even if they're manipulating it, like it's still a strike. There's still contact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that. Why do I like that? Why do I want people to hit each other? What is it in humans that makes us like this? I don't know. That's a whole other, like, podcast or something. Psych 101. Yeah. Psych, like, well, that'd why? be like Psych 340 or something. Right. Like, why do we want to <laughs> see them beat each other up? Are we living vicariously through it? I don't know. What do you guys think? Let us know. Email us. Yeah. Yeah, I'd be interested in what people think about that. His pants are remarkably loose for a wrestler. Oh, mm. through the table. Mm. I feel like the table was set up a long time ago. I forgot it existed. <laughs> yep. 
No, they, they, they do that. I mean, wrestlers do that once in a while. Like, set it up, and then we forget about it. They really smash that. They, it didn't just break on the fault line, because you know that they have fault lines. Right. It, a bunch of it. It shattered. Yeah, shattered. No, yeah. You can't return that to Home Depot. Nope, not a chance. Well, you wouldn't be able to anyway, because Home Depot sucks, and they would give you a hard time. What about Lowe's? Politically, I align myself more with Lowe's and Home Depot, but I've got to be honest, I've had terrible experiences with them this summer, and I don't like either one of them right no, that's, now. Yeah, the big box yeah, I don't, hardware stores are kind of... Yeah. I don't like either one of them right now. Ace Hardware, that's my go-to. Ace is the place. Yep. Waving off the count? You can't wave off the count. <laughs> I mean, he's waving it off. No, no, no. no stop no. it. Right. Stop it. Right, there's the stupid handshake. Um, the shaking hand, not yeah. the handshake. Shaking hand. I hate that. So he's just letting the ref know that he's not dead. Right. Get back in the ring. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. Yeah, we see enough people get thrown through tables and yeah. immediately get Come right on. back up. Get back in the ring, you losers. There we go. All right. Okay, so this is where Phoenix makes his big recovery mm -hmm. and wins the match. So we think it's going to be, ah, uh, and then, no, and then he's going to, he's going to have his big resurgence, and he's going to kick the other one's butt. That's my prediction. I have not seen this yet. What is going through Kenny Omega's head? The camera. Yeah. <laughs> Another is, table. What is what is going through his head? A chair. Um, his. Uh, you know what's going through his head is the lyrics of "A Child in the City." <laughs> I feel like there's going to be a lot of. Oh. Ooh, YouTube Googles or the like of "A Hot Child in the City." Nick Glider. I'm pretty sure that's the name. Okay, it's almost time. It's almost time. Just when you think, ow, he couldn't possibly come back from that, could he? And yet, and yet. Oh, 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 oh. Here we go. Here we go. Set up a move that you don't complete because that happens. Right in the knee. Yep. And there we go. Just a bit of possum. Mm. Eats a V-trigger from behind. He never Wow, that's strength. Especially at the end of the match, don't you think? Yeah. Been going going hard for yeah, 20 Yeah, I think both minutes. of them have been pretty like physically strong. Yes, he is. Phoenix is going to come back. You know, I think he might be Mike can be wrong. <laughs> You're not going to tell me. Nope. You're not going to tell me. If I was your girlfriend, I would lead you around by this. That oh. would totally happen. <laughs> Ooh. Oof. Like, even at the grocery store? Oh, yeah. Just, that, come on, honey. I think for show, that would be funny. I wouldn't be able to not do it. I don't, I'm having trouble not doing it now. <laughs> this looks like a game of chicken in my swimming pool. Come on, Phoenix. Don't let me down. Oof. <laughs> Oof. There you go. Get him by the Sammy Hagars. Oh. The sweat that has been, like, the sprays that the camera's catching are amazing. All right, the lighting's great. Yeah. Can they just punch somebody in the um like penis like are they allowed to do that uh, i mean for the you know wrestling rules mm -hmm. no but okay but people do it yeah okay this is the beginning of the end come on phoenix don't let me down god it's gonna be sweaty under that yeah that mask Ooh. Well, sweaty under the mask, plus the house lights. Oh, my God. I wonder if he gets a rash. I feel like with the masks I've been wearing, because I teach and I wear a, you know, a mask out to be safe, get vaccinated, everyone. Yes. Um, and I get, like, 
pimples and sweaty underneath there from wearing it. I can't imagine what that would be like. Oh. I wear a mask when I go to the gym. I wear a mask when I go everywhere now. Like, just because of the... Right. The whole Delta. Delta, yeah. No, I wear a mask while I'm working out. Oh my god, you must get sweaty as hell. Oh, my, my mask is drenched. Nice. When I leave the gym. Nice. I hope you wear disposable ones, do you? No, no? I, but I, I, I wash it in the sink when I get home. Ew. I wash it in the sink. Sure I use soap. Do. You just hang it up and let it dry, and then it's like crispy. I feel like once a week. Ah! <laughs> We oh. oh I keep thinking this is gonna be Phoenix's moment and he keeps letting me down. Maybe I'm wrong. Finally gonna get it. That's a fun move. That's a except the face in the ass, I do not Yeah, that was that was a So he won. Wow. Boo, I was wrong. I don't like that I was wrong. It happens. Not often. No, not often. Mm. Hey everyone, uh, you just saw the Ray Phoenix versus Kenny Omega match, and the reason why you're seeing just me now versus the end with Deirdre and I recapping is because I, once again, couldn't tell the battery juice on my camera. It's being fixed, I'm getting one of those little dummy batteries that uh, attach to power, actual power, so hopefully we don't run into that issue again. But with that being said, uh, I just wanted to come back on here and give a summary of what everyone's thought was because what's the point of watching a match if you don't hear a review, right? For me, Kenny Omega versus Ray Phoenix, chef's kiss. Uh, I thought it was really good. Obviously, Kenny Omega is one of the best in the world. Ray Phoenix is one of the best in the world. So obviously, put them to well, not obviously, but you put them together, you're going to get something good. Um, and as everyone knows, we do record two episodes at once, uh, this one and last week's one, which was, uh, Daniel Garcia versus Masha Slamovich. Deirdre actually preferred that one. Uh, she really enjoyed it. One of her favorite matches of the entire show. And despite her not being too big on intergender matches, um, it was more grounded in reality in terms of fighting and moves and, and all that, whereas uh, Phoenix versus Omega is a bit more fantastical, um, but less believable in fighting, I guess is the best way to explain it. You know, that that's why we do the show. I have my view, she has her view. Very rarely do we ever see eye to eye on um, a lot of specifics, but that's what makes it fun. That's why we do this, so. Just wanted to, again, uh, do the summary of what happened, what everyone's thought was, and I hope you enjoyed the match. Um, but stay tuned for next week, where fingers crossed, not going to run out of battery juice, and we can not have to do this weird editing in the middle of it. All right, till next time, catch you guys later.